Oh man, it is bright out today. You might not even be able to see me with the sun. We are at one of our bigger cemeteries. Sometimes middle of summer, through the fall time, graves over the winter, they're gonna settle. Comes winter time, we get the snow on them. Spring time, things settle or grass didn't grow from last year. So we're gonna run around, touch up graves. What kind of makes it hard in the springtime when we're coming around touching up graves. One thing a lot of people don't realize, you know, we're getting calls maybe like right away when it's the first nice day after winter. People are calling up, Daddy Cornstar, my mom's grave, my whoever's grave has settled. Can we get you out there right now to touch it up? No, I can't. The dirt pile is so wet, it's just gonna pack like concrete. So that is always an issue. Oh, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. We've done this for so many years, it just packs. Once you put that wet dirt on that grave, it becomes super hard and it, it just stays hard. What the heck's that? I found it like a clot of... So like right now, we're gonna go to the dirt pile and I'll show you the dirt pile, but we try to scrape some of the very top dry stuff put on graves. But we gotta try to shave some of the dry dirt. Even that dirt right there is probably not the best dirt. I'll show you some stuff that really makes it hard and I, I wish they would crack down on it in some of these cemeteries. And I know it's sad to say, but when the people ain't mowing out here or working around graves, it's like some of these they want to squeeze us in so tight and think that we can get in a seven foot hole to dig a six foot hole. There is a stone right in the middle of where we dig or where I need to drive and that makes it really hard, mainly in the winter time, there's snow, boom! We plow into a stone like that and now it's our fault, we should have known it's there. That stone, to me, should not be there. Why do they allow it? How am I supposed to get around that stone? And that's a small one. I'm trying to sprinkle a little bit of dirt. Then we can seed it. Come on, uh, not a lot, but I just want enough to get some grass seed started. Now like this grave here, it's actually settled quite a bit. What happens is when the vault gets put in the ground, you know, we're pretty close to the edges, the whole thing, so there might only be a gap like that. Well, then when we put the dirt in, it's hard to get the dirt to go down that three foot beside the vault that the casket goes in. So then you just have to wait sometimes for rain over, sometimes it might be four, five, six. I've seen them 10 years later where all at once, boom, the dirt goes down and it's filled in them hollow spots. And that's why we come back and then touch up a grave that's settled. When you get a fresh grave and you get some really nice kindly rains that can get that pushed back down to a natural state, usually it's within a year or two years. But uh, this one I'm working on right now has probably been in the ground for three years. All right, let's even get some good old soft dirt. I'm just trying to skim. Nice thing is about today is it is absolutely beautiful day supposed to get around 84 degrees there's a light wind light breeze however you want to look at it I've been running around the cemetery here just dumping little piles of dirt there over there whole bunch over there more spots over there oh just walking around here but why don't we go get the rake shovel well like here there's a big old hole here that an animal dug, but that's a big old hole. Just waiting for somebody to fall in and lose one of their kids. So we got to be careful. Hole like that, a family finds it, they got 10 kids. They know they could shove three kids in there. Where did they go? We wanted to ditch a couple. So I try to fill in holes like that also when I'm at the cemetery. And that's where we try to go beyond. Something like that, there's a hole down there. Is it really our responsibility? Probably not, but I'm out here, I'm doing the other work, take pride in it. So I don't wanna just like, hey, that one was back 40 years ago and an animal dug it, I'm not gonna do it. When you go beyond and stuff, it's easier to get a better name than to destroy your name. This is one of them graves. Oh, might have only been in the ground, I think a little over two years. 
the grass is trying to grow. Last year we put some fresh dirt on it, tried to get it to grow. Last year was super dry. So I'm just at the grave like this. There's just a few little spots with a little sunk, but I'm just putting a small layer on it and then we'll reseed it with grass seed oats and hopefully we can get it to bite. You always feel bad for graves like this that they just won't take off. This grave right here was a good friend of Cooper's. He died at 19 years old and that was three and a half years ago already. It's hard to believe. This grave is one of them too that's just been hard to get going. The neat thing with this grave, I think this is probably one of the most active graves that I know at the cemetery. He had a lot of friends, got a lot of friends, has a lot of friends. We'll see groups of people out here sometimes. They'll bring their lawn chairs and just sit around and it's to me it's really nice to see that his friends still get together to hang out here at times i know sometimes i've been over here digging graves and you know they come over and talk they know me and it's just that's what the cemetery is about it's your place to go out talk sit visit your loved ones this certain cemetery here my dad's buried in and I was just actually over at his stone sitting there visiting too. Well, we just got done at another cemetery. I didn't do a whole lot of filming here. There was a lot of people in and out. It's that time of year and for respect of everybody, I didn't want to be running around with the camera. But we got like a spot like this, this, over there. A big spot over there. One over there. We had a few just throughout. So I think we had 14 or 16 here at this cemetery that we ran around, touched up, seated filled in you know from settling over the winter or a couple of these were more than a few years that finally settled and the ones that are really really hard that are maybe been here for a few years maybe some little bald spots yet but there's a little grass trying sometimes I'll put a little bit of layer of dry dirt on them just put a little layer put some new grass seed on hope it takes but my dirt pile here at this cemetery I used up a lot of the good dry dirt I'm starting to get into that wet clay stuff I'd rather stay away from it so when I get in graves like this that have maybe just not taken yet I think I'm better to leave them than putting old clay on them but I did go ahead and throw some grass seed on it a little bit of oats I figured if we get some nice rain that will still soften up the dirt get it started but let's hit another cemetery and just keep moving just got home from the cemetery trying to you know just kind of showing you what goes on behind the scenes at the cemetery and it's just not going out there and digging graves and covering graves and sometimes you get to see some of the uh, issues we get into out there too trying to get graves dug but like today we run around touch up graves and stuff that's all figured in the price of digging a grave closing a grave we got that figured in there kind of whatever but we always feel i've had different people come up to me today and well we didn't know who did the touch up or seated and stuff we feel that is part of our opening and closing of doing the graves is going out, getting things touched up. But anyhow, while I was gone, it looks like Cooper went and got the case tractor. It's got the collar packer or some little thing on it that packs waterway, drawways, whatever you want to call them. And then on the little John Deere tractor out there, it's getting dark, but he's borrowing one of our neighbor's uh, grain drills, I guess. So along the creek where Ron did all that bulldozing and reshaping, we're going to get that. I think uh, Zach's been out getting that all worked up, dist, real dist. Got it really looking nice. But it's dark time. Let's call that the end of the show for today, guys, and get some rest. And don't forget, I don't know how you're supposed to say that. Hit the like, subscribe. I don't know. You guys do whatever you want to do because I don't know how all this stuff works. So, but anyhow, I wanted to give everybody a big thank you for taking time today. I'm going to go in, take a shower, eat some supper, and get rested up, and go back at this tomorrow. So pull me 
some Jim Beam, make you strong and tall. 